What's up everyone, it's the Razor Edge, and today I'm here to bring you guys some Gears of War 4 news. The Coalition have just put out a teaser for the massive Summer Horde update that they've been teasing in blog and forum posts throughout the year. The official Gears of War Twitter account goes on to tweet, Tomorrow at 9am PDT, our major Gears of War 4 Horde update will be revealed. The tweet is accompanied with a gif of an explosion that involves two Swarm Grenadiers and a Juvie. The gif appears to show what could be a new map as well, but it's hard to tell from a tease that is so short. Perhaps this could be a snippet at some kind of trailer that is to come. The biggest speculation right now surrounding the Gears of War 4 Summer Horde update is if it will include the return of the Locust Horde to the mode. Incorporating the Locust into Horde Mode 3.0 would increase the variety in enemy types and bosses, such as the Berserker, Corpser, and maybe even the original Brumac. I'd be curious to see that if this does happen, that if the Locust will be in a separate version of Horde mode, or if they'll be incorporated in with the Swarm and the DBs to create a sort of mega Horde mode with an insane variety in enemy types. Let me know which you would prefer in the comments down below. Perhaps in this gift, the swarm could be getting attacked by the locusts themselves as a kind of a move on over or the boys are back in town kind of symbolic gesture. What we do know about the Summer Horde update so far is that we are getting a new inconceivable difficulty, which appears to be a step up from the insane difficulty. No details on exactly how difficult this is yet. A lot of people have learned to overcome the insane difficulty so much that speedruns of it have become a thing. No doubt that inconceivable will try and present a new challenge for those kinds of players. Iron Man mode is another difficulty setting which is confirmed to be a one life kind of mode where if you die you get reset all the way to the beginning again and it is definitely a new way to experience Horde and really seems to give off more of a survival vibe. It will be interesting to see if there will be any variety in the way the mode itself works. We're also getting our hands on more skill cards, level 6 skills for all class skills which means there's even more scrap to grind for and it will probably be necessary to have level 6 on everything for Inconceivable and Iron Man. We're also getting our hands on brand new skills for certain classes which are confirmed for the Sniper class and the Soldier class to make them more viable on the battlefield in Horde mode as they have been very underutilized since the launch of Gears of War 4. There's also a whole new set of achievements which will no doubt include achievements for completing Horde runs on the new difficulty settings and there's so much more that we don't know yet. But what do you guys think? Do you think it's possible that we'll see the Locust return in Horde Mode 3.0? Do you think the new difficulties sound interesting to you? Let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a like and subscribe to my channel for all future Gears of War 4 content. Share the video around if you really enjoyed it. Follow me on Twitter at the Razored Edge, and I will see you guys next time. Hey guys, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a like, leave a comment down below letting me know what you thought, subscribe to my channel if you're brand new for more videos, share the video around if you really enjoyed it, and I will see you guys next time.